my name is Candice. I am the product manager for Vipurry. So I know one of the key things that a lot of you are curious about is how I can leverage Gemini and AI to transform your business. And a lot of the time, it usually takes so many resources, processes, tools. So hopefully this demo can show you how I can bring everything together and build data to AI technology using Bitcoin Studio, powered by Vertex AI, as well as LLM, our Gemini models. So this company is called Database. It's actually an imaginary company which use data and AI to help the coffee industry to improve efficiency as well as uh, profitability. And the startup company that they are working with is called Coffee on Wheels. So this company is running a coffee truck business around four different cities across the world. So we're going to look at how they are doing in London in this demo. So on this dashboard, you can see different metrics, including financial metrics as well as operational metrics, uh, to understand how they are doing in London. You can also see the historical revenue here, as well as the forecast revenue, which is powered by native in data warehouse Bitcoin machine learning capabilities. And uh, this whole application is actually powered by uh, Gemini as well. So every time you see an icon in blue, it's an insight generated by Gemini. So let's click and see what's happening here. So in this view, you can actually see how they are doing uh, in London and the different trucks, how they are doing in terms of the operations. These are the trucks that's running in uh, London. And then what's cool about this, you can also use this timeline to understand what kind of events that happened in the past and then what are the events that's happening in the future. So as you see, there's an event that happened uh, this morning. There was a concert, so it seems like we could have made maybe a thousand uh, dollar revenue. But that's already happened in the past. There's nothing we can do. So maybe let's see what, what will happen in the future. So if I click this event, so uh, Ge the Gemini is telling me there's a hotel game going on. So it might be a good idea actually to reroute our traffic so we can capture that game. So I like that idea. So I'm going to click reroute traffic. And there's also a lot of different insights on the left you can see as well. For example, like in this uh, weather uh, widget here, there's a Gen AI uh, insight. So I'm going to click this. So it's showing me that uh, it's going to be lower temperature. And then it's probably a better idea to reroute uh, to a covered area. So what Gemini is doing is to uh, use the data as uh, the context to help the LLM model to provide the recommendation. If it's raining, then it's probably a better idea to reroute the traffic to the covered area. Versus if it's sunny, it's better to have the truck deployed in those open areas like parks, right? And there's also a lot of some other cool areas uh, that I want to show you as well. For example, on this menu, you can see uh, all different products that we are offering on the menu. So if I click this one, it shows that uh, we should run a happy hour. So let's find out uh, what kind of campaign uh, the Gemini is suggesting. So you can see actually uh, Gemini already automatically created a marketing campaign for me, uh, which we are using the Gemini Pro to generate all of the content and also the image did too to generate this photo, which is pretty cool because imagine a marketing analyst can spend like hours, if not days and weeks to create such a campaign, but I can easily do it in just a few clicks. I think uh, uh, I would really use that uh, if it's available. And then let's see uh, what else here. So there's also some customer feedback. I'm seeing the negative review. So maybe uh, let's click and see what's happening here as well. So if I click this one, I'm seeing uh, this review by this customer. Uh, they're saying the copy was too weak, the service was slow. Uh, what's happening here is that the Gemini is actually uh, understanding what's the sentiment. So they're doing the sentiment analysis based on those reviews and then categorize this one as a negative feedback. It's also trying to detect the things based on the reviews. So as you can see, different tags here. It's recommending me, uh, I should apologize to the customer. It also has some suggested response, which I can follow up with the customer. So I think this can be really useful as like a salesperson, like 
it takes a lot of time to kind of comb through different feedback and then come up with responses. But if I can use Gemini, which can really help me to save a lot of time. All right, and I think uh, the last thing I want to show you is uh, our uh, looper embedded uh, visualization. So if you don't find everything you need here, you can also click this uh, operational report, where is uh, uh, looper dashboard. So everything that you can see here, some uh, revenue information, customer insights, and there's a lot to look at. So let's ask Gemini to help us summarize this. So I'm gonna click this one. So what it's doing is uh, Gemini is reading all of these uh, data as well as these charts to understand uh, what is the high level summary and then what are the next steps that we should actually take to improve the financial metrics as well as customer loyalty. So if you don't find anything here, you can even ask a question uh, within Looker as well. Let's say if I want to know what's the top sales uh, broken down by different products, I can also ask the question within Looker, using Gemini, and now the, uh, the product is going to run this, uh, translate that into query, and then run the result. As you can see, it's already uh, populated here. So how everything is made, uh, you can see this is the overall architecture. So it showcases how we start from data acquisition, generate the data, to process the data, and then leverage lake house to process unstructured data, structured data, and uh, semi-structured data, and also analyze within BigQuery leveraging uh, Vertex AI and Gemini capability. And then we use all of this to uh, um, send it to the front-end application, which is the front-end that you just saw, as well as looking for the dashboard. So that's uh, pretty much everything I want to share with you. I'm really, really excited to see how you can use this techno technology to create innovations to help you to improve productivity as well as uh, create new experience for your customer as well. So click the link below and find out more information. Thank you.